When you're preparing for your driving test, it is important to develop a good understanding of your vehicle, enabling you to carry out essential safety checks. During your test, you will need to successfully demonstrate a basic knowledge of your car and also show an ability to keep it in a roadworthy condition. To begin with, it is vital to recognise four important parts of your car's engine. To get to your engine, you will need to pull a lever, which is usually found under the dashboard. Once pulled, you can now release the safety catch, lift the bonnet and slot the stay into its holder. The four parts of your engine you'll need to recognise are the oil chamber and dipstick, the coolant tank, brake fluid bottle and the windscreen washer reservoir. It is important to remember that car engines do vary, so check your car's manual if you're not sure where these parts are located. To check the oil level, remove the dipstick and wipe clean with a cloth or paper towel. After replacing the dipstick, remove again and look carefully for high and low marks. If you need to top up the oil, do so a little at a time, checking the dipstick as you go. When checking the coolant level, look for the high and low marks on the tank. If the level is below minimum, top it up with a water antifreeze mix, but only when the engine is cold. Always make sure your windscreen washer reservoir has enough water to keep your screen clear. To top it up, use a mixture of water and windscreen washer fluid. The level in the brake fluid bottle needs to be between the maximum and minimum markers. If you need to top it up, check the car's handbook for information on the correct fluid to use. In order to be a safe driver, it is important to form good habits. The following safety checks are worth doing before you go on a journey. Always check that your head restraint is in the correct place. Remember it's not only for comfort, but offers protection for your neck and head in the event of a crash. Your seatbelt is an irreplaceable part of keeping you safe, so make the effort to check it's working correctly. Also, check your rear view mirror ensuring it is in the correct place, giving you full view behind your vehicle. It is important to check that all lights are working correctly. You can either do this yourself by walking around your vehicle, or ask someone to look for you. Once the ignition has been turned on, check that your indicators and hazard lights are working. After this, check that your headlights are going from dip to main beam. While seated, check that your windscreen wipers are working correctly and that the ducts are not blocked. Next, check your handbrake. Make sure your foot is firmly on the brake pedal before releasing. When you apply the handbrake, it should secure itself after three to four clicks. Ensure the safety catch is on and that the emergency brake light appears on the dashboard. Tyres are an essential part of your car and it's vital that you regularly check their condition and inflation. Your car's handbook will state the correct pressures for your tyres. To check the pressure, remove the dust cap and apply a reliable pressure gauge onto the valve. Read the gauge carefully and inflate if necessary. When checking your tyres, use a gauge to check the tread. It should be at least 1.6mm in depth across the central breadth of the tyre. Also check for bulges, bits of glass and small stones on both sides of the tyre. Finally, it is important to remember to check your steering before going on a journey. Turn the ignition on and move the wheel from right to left to check for excessive play. Also, you will need to check your brake pedal as you set off. Make sure that it doesn't feel spongy and that it doesn't pull the car to one side. Understanding all these points ensures your ability as a capable and responsible driver. Remember, safe driver, good driver.